Good morning, guys. Hope you're having a nice Friday so far. And it's been a really quick week, and I think for those in the UK, it's going to be a relatively short week next week too. I don't know if uh, for those that are new to Facebook ads, for those that are probably doing it, may have come across uh, this new feature that Facebook has rolled out called the Facebook Ads Library. So Facebook have basically given uh, anyone who wants to see active ads uh, that currently been advertised on Facebook at this moment in time. So they've done it just to introduce a, some more transparency around what adverts are available. Now, <clears throat> obviously you can create your own ad copy and you can, uh, you can try and test that as best as you can. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I do recommend doing that. We can also see what adverts are also running in your sort of niche at the moment, which is gonna be useful because uh, you can see which ads are active, see which ads aren't, aren't, aren't active either. <clears throat> But also you might be able to get a feel for what's working now. Obviously this Facebook ads manager, the uh, ads library isn't going to tell you which ads are working, but if you say spider competitor and check them out every week, every month, and they've still got the same ads working, there's a good chance that that advert is actually performing quite well. But this tool, this feature is actually pretty cool. I'm not sure how accurate it is because I've just run a few searches for mortgages insurance and it doesn't appear to be uh, lots of examples, probably down to the keyword search as well or, or maybe that is just going to be down to people not running the ads but <clears throat> you take a look at this one here so i've just put in insurance here <clears throat> in the search i've added the url to this uh in the in the comments or in the description of the post for you to check it out you can search by country depending on what it is uh, and you can also split by active and inactive ads and also filter by pages too so and I've just put in insurance, I can see here that there are only two businesses advertising it. And you can see a list of all the ads that they've got active and when they turn them on as well. So you can see these ones only started running May. Uh, so quite recent actually. Now, if you split it by page, so if we go up and split it by quote search, <clears throat> We have to see not only the ads they're running, but different the, the different tests they're doing here. So as you can see here, they are this cover appears to be the same. And this is the same. So what they're probably doing is actually just testing ads in different ad sets. If you click and see ad details, you could actually see uh, the impressions they've had, who's seen the ad, and the location as well. So actually, uh, you could you could see sort of the spend information about the page and and also the, the targeting. So this might actually give you some more information on, on getting some targeting ideas as well. But one thing which uh, which is also useful is that not only can you see the ad the image used uh, and sort of the, the, the creators of the copy, but you could actually the landing page as well. So if you click learn more, <clears throat> you can actually see the where traffic is sent to in terms of copy. So as you can see here, they've here's an example headline, the images used, uh, the landing page. What I recommend to, to anyone doing this is actually look at your competitors, look at someone else who's doing adverts in your niche and try and reverse engineer the, the funnel, if you like. So by clicking on advert, make a note of, of what they're saying. Then actually just fill it out, whether you use your own details or just use uh, someone else's details, just, just fill out the form. So if we Pick this one here. I'm not going to follow this through, but you'll get an idea of, of how it's working. And if you're ever struggling to design a funnel, the best way to do it is look at what your competitors are doing and just reverse engineer it and just see what's working now. Companies like Quote Search have invested a bit of money into the landing pages and forms, but they, they can be easily replicated in, say, WordPress or ClickFunnels as well, too. So it's definitely worth uh, checking it out. But <clears throat> I'm just going to see if I can find some more examples. Let's say property. There's another one here, but it's not very relevant. Let's see if I can look at pensions. Again, there's another one here. Uh, this one's just providing some advice, but we can have a look, see what they're saying. <coughs> okay. So more or less just promoting a guide. Let me actually target people as well. So 
not only will this give you adverts, but it may give you some content ideas as well. So I know we've discussed recently in regards to providing advice through content, you can see what people are doing. Uh, let's see if there's any, let's see if there's any analysis. Nope. Shift to finance in general. Nothing as well. So you can see it appears to be a bit temperamental uh, as well. So have a go. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions on it, be useful to see if it's worked for you or hopefully give you some ideas.